Hello and very warm welcome to Raflimps. This is Farooq Hossain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn the four free classification tools for DDC user. DDC is an abbreviation of DV decimal classification. It's a very famous knowledge classification scheme or system that divided all the knowledge into 10 groups and each group assigned 100 division and then 1000 section. DDC is a complete system and being a librarian or information professional, you must need to learn fully and completely. Here I am going to show you four classification tools for DDC user. At number 4, we have DDC summaries. The 10 main classes, 100 division and 1000 sections are available free of cost. All you need to do is just to open your web browser and search DDC summaries. It's available in PDF format. So if you are a newborn librarian or you haven't any resource to perform classification, check it out. Okay, let me open my web browser to show you how you can reach the DDC summary. We just need to open our web browser and uh, today is 28th November when I'm recording this video and 92 birthday of Banu Kutsia. Banu Kutsia was a great name of Urdu literature and uh, Google tribute her on uh, 92 birthday. So Raflim also tribute her. And she's actually a great name of Urdu literature, particularly novel writing. So let me write DDC summary here. Just need to write DDC. It's not DDC. It's DDC summaries. And there you can see the very first link is of DDC summaries. So we just need to open here. And this summary is from OCLC. And there you can see complete details available. A brief introduction to DV decimal classification for students. If you are a student or if you want to learn about DDC, so you can read it out completely complete information about volumes and history and everything is it and the very first summary is about the 10 main classes from 000 to 900 and the second summary for 100 divisions And the third summary is for 1000 sections. So it's available free of cost on OCLC website. The DDC, I mean the DV decimal classification is also available in PDF format, but you need to buy from OCLC. And uh, let me close this. Okay, at number three, we have OCLC Classify. OCLC Classify is uh, one of the uh, experimental classification service by OCLC. And it's a research prototype of OCLC where you can search the uh, classification number. Uh, if you are performing the classification of books, uh, magazine, movies and the music. So you can find out the classification number of DDC classification number as well as LC classification number. So you just need to open your web browser and you need to write OCLC classify or alternatively you can visit this website classify.oclc.org. Let me bigger the size. And there you can search uh, the standard number, I mean the ISBN number, OCLC number, UPC number and ISSN number. So you need to write an ISBN number and we can search through the title and the author or the both. And we can perform search through the subject heading. 
so let me write one title here uh okay digital library tool i think it's toolkit yes so there you can see one book it has search one book digital library toolkit and uh, and find the classification number of this book here 021 and dot that is actually decimal 7 and uh, it's also available on webdv webdv is one of the classification uh, i mean the real dv decimal classification is available on webdv so you can find out webdv you need to subscribe webdv so this number is actually suggested number from 45 holdings so you can see and lc number i mean the library of congress classification number is also available here and this number is suggested from 56 holdings and you can check the holdings here there you can so and you can search from the isbn number let me note this isbn number and perform one search okay let me search a random uh, larry toolkit just mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay so we have uh, more holdings here and there you can see by title we have six result of larry toolkit and let me open this one and okay this one the larry toolkit the very basic name so you can see the title author and the format and uh, the classification number ddc number it's 372 decimal 6 and it has suggested from 11 holdings and uh, you can see the subject headings as well so you will find the subject heading as well okay so let me search one subject heading the broader subject heading is chemistry and the specific is organic or you can use any subject heading even you write organic this is not required to write like this if you write organic it will also suggest you the number of subject headings so let me select this search so through this subject heading we have number of result so you will select your subject heading for example this one and can find your required book from this so let me open this one and there you can see the number i mean the classification number from 2894 holdings and this number is most frequent use and the 30 23rd edition also use this number 23rd edition is actually the latest edition of this book so and the lc classification of subject headings this book is actually the basic uh, uh, organic chemistry book and you can find the whole okay so and you can write the standard number so isbn number let me write one isbn number here and perform search so you will see the result here uh, the book title is library marketing basic and you can see the classification number the most frequent classification number from ddc and the 23rd edition from two to five uh, holdings and the lc number also available and the subject heading authority link okay 
and the holdings from where it has fetched the data. So you can search from ISBN, title or author. So let me write one author here. Uh, mm -hmm. Just let me search my name. So you will see. This book, let me the most frequent call number classification number from 10 holding. The book title is whatever it is, and you will see addition. So that was OCLC classify. So it's a good tool actually so you can use it if you don't have any classification number or you don't have any time to perform classification so you can find the ready-made classification number from this tool and you can use uh, through ISBN number through ISSN number title author and the subject headings so Okay, at number two, we have OCLC DV cutter program. So when we perform classification, there are different component in a call number. So we can say the main subject and the subdivision of that particular subject. For example, this call number has zero to one. That is actually the main subject. And after putting a decimal, then we have seven. This is actually the subdivision of that subject or the particular area that has cover in particular resource. So we cover in main subject and in sub, uh, subdivision of that subject. So in form of numeric number, so we use main subject and the subdivision after putting a decimal. And after this, this is actually the DDC number. And then we have author mark. In Pakistan, most of the areas we use author mark. So author mark is actually the uh, first three capital, first three letter of the author surname. For example, my name is Poro Hossein Zai. So Zai would be the author mark. Z A I. It will use like this. Uh, the best practice instead of author mark, so we can use the Curtin number. Uh, we all remember the Curtin table. So. So we can use the curtain number and for curtain number DV has launched a program. So we need to download and install that program. So let me open my web browser. So DV cutter program. You just need to write DV cutter program on your web browser and there you will see the very first link so you can click here alternatively you can visit this website and there you can find the dv cutter program so accept all these so there you can find the instruction how you can install how can you use this program and from this link you can download so let me open this link okay so it's more about dv cutter program so let me accept this and then you can see the uh has download the application uh, okay let me show you here so it has download the uh, application here we need to open this and now it will ask me uh, so installation yes now it has a start processing we need to press yes and yes next 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 
so it will start the setup has uh, started so it will complete very soon so it has complete the processing let me finish here okay let me show you where it is on the desktop you will find the shortcut of oclc dv cutter after the installation you you just need to open this here you can see the interface in text you can write the first three uh, alphabets of the author's surname for example my name is that ai so you can see the cutter you need to copy this cutter and if there's a book edited book so you can write the uh, first three alphabets of the title and uh, similar for adam similar for uh, peter and the author that was mentioned in this presentation so you can see pot in street of pot we can write this cutter number so you need to copy this cutter number here you can see two options by default this one is actually the default one uh, cutter four finger table another option is cutter sandbone four finger table so you need to use this or uh, you can use this as well if you want to so this is actually the free program for cutter classification so instead of use author mark we can more specific on the cutter so if you are, if we are using uh, ddc as a classification scheme so i would recommend to use dv cutter program for author or title cutter so let me close this and on number one we have another program so let me show you So at number one, we have a freeware EDDC. So it's a free software based on DDC 23rd edition by Mohammad Rot Mianto. He's actually an Indonesian guy who developed that program. So this freeware is an unofficial version of DDC, but it's not an illegal program. So you just need to go on your web browser and there you can write the free where EDDC classification is keen and then you can download and install it so let me show you and you need to open your web browser and there you can write free where EDDC it's already there so let me put enter and the very first link so this is actually a blog and there are a number of blogs and articles available on this software so you can read it out and uh, there's a link so i will put the link in the description of this video so you will easily reach it out and then you have to wait for a few seconds and then download so the downloading begin and it take few time so it's in zip format so you can actually unzip this and extract desktop okay then so there you can see this is actually the software and you need to install this software and you need to fill write the password in between of the installation and read this text first and options or whatever so let me install it So it's asking me permission here I said yes and then next accept the agreement next and there you need to provide password you can see the password is this one 
remember this software or freeware is not an illegal software so next create a desktop icon and install then next then launch so let me launch here so it will recite the bismillah okay there you can see this is actually the freeware eddc or electronic dv decimal classification 23rd edition unofficial designed by rotmian to mohammed or mohammed rotmian to in 2014 so this uh, classification scheme is quite good and effective so you can perform the classification online so here you can see uh, 10 main classes when you click here so you can see the 100 divisions and when you click on division so you will find thousand section there you are and this uh, classification is in two language one is english and then is uh, indonesian so and you can read more about this you need to translate this actually and uh, google translate or anywhere to read this message and uh, you can see the tutorials available quick guides also the tables also available so you can see the standard subdivision available here and language is also available here anyways warning and they go to the eddc site so content in content you can browse the same feature here tables okay so and even you can search here so let me search one term, journal term, nursing, and list topic. So you can see nursing is fall in 610619 till 619. So let me display this. So there you can see 610 to 619 is actually for medical and medicine sciences and nursing is here 610 decimal 73 nursing and services of medical uh, techniques and assistant and then philosophy and theory of nursing nursing organization and uh, professional nursing lots of the topics available on nurse. so you can select the required number according to the topic so let me perform another search um, translation of form so this topic is fall in islam 297 religion I mean 200 is for religion and 297 is for islam there you can see play topic or by double click you can see this is Quran and Hadith translation of Quran 297 decimal 1225 this topic is also so there you can add table so wherever table required you can add and you can search uh, two terminologies like this in boolean format this topic there you can see I search the same topic translate so you can integrate two topics like this for example nursing science if there may be some topic
the DLR. Anyways, this is medical science, that's why it's put. So this way you can perform searches and it will save your search here and it will display whatever you ask for. The search is in different way, for example, search title only, search previous result. So you can do this. So it's a good software and you can use it free of cost and it's not an illegal software. So anyhow, and even you can print this. The result so the general history of Asia okay let me search Pakistan here Anyways, so, so let me stop it here and we have discussed the four free classification tools for DDC user and if you want more video like this, if you want more video on LCC classification, so comment down in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much. You are watching Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain.